Santa's Wish, written by Beth Costanzo, illustrated by Ekaterina Elena. I am as old as time itself, he muttered as he watched three kings riding upon camels to visit a child. Such a small child can do such great things and save the world, he said with hope in his voice. A white dove gently landed next to him. He pulled out some seed from his pocket and fed it to the beautiful bird. He is here, my friend, he said with a smile. Thousands of years had passed and the world had changed. The old man sat on the edge of the bridge and once again the beautiful dove gently landed next to him. Hello, my friend. I need your help. Nathaniel lost his wife and needs our help this Christmas. His daughter Finley wants to celebrate Christmas, but her father is having a hard time finding any joy. Dad, are we getting a Christmas tree today? asked Finley. Not today. Maybe tomorrow, replied Dad. That's what you said yesterday, scolded Finley. Dad, look at that white bird on the windowsill. That's an odd bird, said Dad. Just then, they heard a knock at the door. Hello, said an old man. I hate to bother you, but I was told you refinish old furniture. I am looking for a table like this. I actually have a table just like that, but it's not for sale, replied Nathaniel. May I see it? asked the old man. Sure, but it's not for sale, said Nathaniel anxiously. As they walked into the old barn together, the white dove landed on the old man's shoulder. Hello, little one. The man reached in his pocket and pulled out some seed. Wow, you have a way with birds. I have a special bond with animals, said the old man. Here is the table, said Nathaniel, as he pulled the sheet from it. It's just as beautiful as I remember. Where did you get this? I bought it at a yard sale. My wife fell in love with it, but it's not for sale. Pity, I have been tracking this table down for a long time. If this is my grandmother's, there should be something handwritten on it. Here it is. To my lovely Margaret, may we share many beautiful meals together for the rest of our lives. Love, John. I am sorry. It's not for sale. My wife loved this table, replied Nathaniel. May I talk to her? No, she passed away six weeks ago. I am very sorry. Here's my card. If you change your mind, you can call me any time. Nathaniel knew he would never call the man. Nathaniel walked into the house. Did he like the table? asked Finley. Yes, he says that it belonged to his grandmother. He even knew there was an inscription on the table. Are you going to give it to him? asked Finley. No, your mother loved it, said Nathaniel. But Dad, if it belonged to his family, you should give it to him. Mom would have given it to him. Yeah, you're probably right. Do you know you look just like your mother? You're as beautiful as she was. I love you, Dad. I love you, kiddo. The next day, Nathaniel was in the hardware store and saw the man that visited him. Hello, it's so nice to see you again. It's a great day to get a Christmas tree. I just bought one, but realized it's too big for my place. Why don't you take it? asked the old man. No, I couldn't. Your daughter would love it, said the old man. You're right. She will absolutely love it. Thank you. Hey, Finley, I got you something today as he pointed to the Christmas tree in the corner. Yay, I'm going to get our decorations while you make dinner. 
The man that visited us the other day gave us the tree. Finley noticed the white bird sitting on the fence outside. Dad, the bird is back. Nathaniel walked outside and stretched out his finger. The beautiful bird hopped on. I have never seen a bird like you before. Where did you come from? The next day, Nathaniel went into town to get some bird seed. Again, he ran into the old man. The white bird is still at my house. I was just getting him some seed, said Nathaniel. He stays where he is needed. You know, everyone needs help now and then, said the man. How does that tree look? Nathaniel responded, Why don't you come over for dinner and see it for yourself? It's Christmas Eve after all. I would love to, said the old man. See you at six o'clock, exclaimed Nathaniel. Knock, knock. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone, said the old man. I am sorry. I don't know your name, asked Nathaniel. My name is Nicholas, the man said with a smile on his face. I hope you are hungry. We are almost ready to eat. Nicholas walked over to Finley and asked, What are you drawing? I really want a bike and a doll for Christmas. Have you been a good girl this year? asked Nicholas. Yes, I have, said Finley. Let's eat, said Nathaniel. After dinner, Nicholas walked over to an old desk that belonged to Nathaniel's wife. What a lovely piece of furniture! As he moved his fingers across the front of the desk, an envelope fell out. Nathaniel walked over to see the envelope. He opened it, and the note said, Nathaniel, if you are reading this letter, that means I am gone. I know you are missing me. I love you and Finley so much. I want you to celebrate Christmas and make it the best ever for Finley. I'll always be with both of you in your hearts. I love you. Emmy. Nathaniel suddenly felt a calm and peacefulness come over him. He was no longer sad. In fact, he felt happy. It was the best Christmas present ever. Nathaniel noticed the dove was still perched on the fence outside next to the barn. He walked outside and gave him some seed. Nicholas followed him. This beautiful bird brings such peace and happiness to our home, said Nathaniel. Nathaniel whispered to Nicholas, I forgot to go Christmas shopping. It is my wish that you have the best Christmas ever. It is also my wish for you to bring my grandmother's table into your house. I would like you to make beautiful memories by having wonderful meals and also remembering how much your wife was loved. Finley came running over to Nicholas and her dad. Are those reindeer, Dad? As she pointed to the field. I think they are. What in the world? I must be going. I have a busy night ahead of me. Oh, Finley, I left some things for you in the barn. She hugged Nicholas goodbye and ran into the barn. Nicholas said to Nathaniel, Sometimes the best gifts are just being around the people we love. Look, Daddy, it's the bike and the doll that I wanted, yelled Finley. Wow, that is amazing. You need to thank Nicholas, said Nathaniel. Where did he go, said Finley. They both heard a swoosh and looked up to the sky and saw a sleigh and reindeer. Beautiful sprinkles of gold gently floated to the ground around Finley and her father. Was that really Santa, Finley said? I think it really was, honey. <laughs>